You guys might be wondering why there's a floating eyeball right in the middle of your screen. Well, I need my room to be completely dark if you didn't already guess or read the subject of this YouTube video that I'm going to be reviewing the Ultimate FX lightsabers by Hasbro and uh, I'm just kind of using this eyeball to show that uh, you are watching a video and it isn't broken. So, putting that eyeball down here we are. This is the Darth Maul Ultimate FX lightsaber. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty bright. However, this is one of the last lightsabers that I got because I wasn't particularly fond of getting red in the first place because the other lightsabers that I already own are much, much brighter in comparison. So I've kind of put them in uh, brightness order here. Red one being the least bright, and obviously it's a function of the, the color red and the red spectrum, I suppose. It naturally kind of absorbs light, and you know what? If you science geeks are going to get on my case about it, let's just just take that and and let's not analyze it too much. The blue one is the next one over, uh, medium brightness in general, and then the green one is just generally always the brightest. It always looks coolest in videos, especially like this. Now, lights are on. Let me just shut these all off. Now the build quality of all of these are pretty good, especially for children. They don't look like they can break easily. And here we see that uh, here's here's actually a problem <clears throat> that that uh, that is unique to the uh, Darth Maul version. Now, as you can see, the button is right there, and there's kind of no protection when it comes to button placement. So, out of all the lightsabers that I have, when I'm just messing about, just kind of swinging them around the room, this thing is is most prone to turning on and off randomly and this is not a problem for Obi-Wan and Anakin's because the button is recessed as you can see so you can't accidentally palm it close and can't accidentally smack it just with one of your fingers uh, over here maybe it's difficult to tell the only part that is the button is the center gold piece over here to turn it off and on and same thing with Anakin's or uh, Luke's Luke's, yeah, where the button is uh, only this kind of black and gold area right in the middle and everything around it is just, uh, it's just, uh, you know, part of the button. Anyway, so there you go. The, the, it's made for kids, so it's extremely durable, I would say. Uh, basically, if you are a kid, this is the end-all, be-all lightsaber. This is like you can't get any better than this because uh, uh, it lights up and you know that's that's just you know one of the things that I would say kids loved I mean I loved it when I was a kid um, the only thing that is kind of awkward especially if you're going to be an adult and especially if you're gonna try to cosplay or something with this is that uh, the hilt is uh, only half the size of the uh, of the laser arc or whatever. In, in other words, the laser arc is only two times the size of the hilt. And so, proportionally, it, it looks a lot different because I believe in the movies it is longer, probably three times the size, or maybe the hilt is, is smaller, maybe? But yeah, so, um, I can palm basketball, and so that gives you an idea of how large my hands are. Um, this is more than enough space for my hands to hold. In fact, it's it's almost too great, especially considering that, um, I don't know, are, are these two-handed weapons or are they one? I feel like they, I don't know. Anyway, um, I have three of these. I, I guess I, I got them each when they were on sale. They're pretty affordable. They're just about $40 each. If you're lucky like me, you can get them on sale for about 30 And uh, now I'm gonna pass on to you a game that I've yet to play with my friends but we've all been been planning it for a while it's it's called Star Wars lightsaber wiffle ball and so what it is is everybody needs one lightsaber uh, if you have extra ones bring some for friends you don't whatever the biggest thing here is that you need one lightsaber per person and you have to be playing at night hopefully in a backyard that way you don't get too embarrassed when uh, when a when real adults pass by and they just see a bunch of doofy you know college kids or or a little beyond 
uh, playing with lightsabers in the park. So you get a wiffle ball, you play this at night, hopefully there is some basic lighting, that way you can still see where the wiffle ball is coming from. And uh, you turn on your lightsaber when you're at bat, you take a swing at the wiffle ball, if you hit it, then you have to turn off your lightsaber, then run to first. And then you have, <laughs> and then you have a battle, a lightsaber, a short lightsaber battle with whoever's at first. Uh, if if uh, if someone throws them the ball or whatever, you guys can make it up along the way. But b basically, we don't need anybody throwing their lightsabers to the ground. We always want you carrying them and uh, just having just having a lot of fun. Um, so if you guys if you guys do play it, I'd really love if you videotaped it and uh, sent it over to me. Uh, send me a link, and uh, you know, eventually one day when when we play, we'll we just uh, create some kind of really lame Star Wars geek wiffle ball league. Maybe if you're in the New York area, how does that sound? Yeah, it's probably something that's good for like New York Comic Con or something. All right, guys. Um, you know what? Before I go, let me think of if I can think of any downsides to this. Yeah, I think I've already said the red one. It's a little less bright than the rest of them. Build quality is great. I don't think they'll break too easily, at least compared to the maybe the $250 ones that, that look awesome, but I think they're a little bit more delicate than this. I've I've hit lightsabers against lightsabers pretty violently, and you know, even the plastic hasn't cracked yet, so that's pretty amazing. So yeah. That's it for today. Bam, bam, bam. Let's get the lights off. Oh, oh yeah. That's how you, that's how you play with a lightsaber.